All right, boys, we are back, and it's time to head into the year three playoffs with our San Jose Sharks. After a great year, too, 50 wins, 26 losses, and six overtime losses. And, you know, this was the year that we didn't know what the team would bring us. Trading away guys like Patrick Marlowe, Joe Thornton, uh, Dan Boyle retiring, all right? But the young San Jose Sharks actually played pretty good. We had a better regular season this year than we did last year. I mean, look at this. Year one, we had a great year, right? 117 points. Joe Thornton tore it up. 260 goals for, 187 goals against. Last year, you know, the goals came down, but we were a good defensive team. This year, the goals have gone back up to around the 260 mark, but our goals against have uh, gone up as well, right? So that's what I was talking about during the, uh, the last video. Uh, with Niemi in the net, you know, he's a decent goalie, but he's nowhere near the top five goalies in the NHL. So we need to be able to score as many goals as we uh, as we possibly can to give ourselves the best chance here. So that's a that's a good stat to have that goals for stat. Now, before we go ahead, let me just remember to turn on the injuries and the automated goalie rotations. Let me turn it off. All right, so there you go. Now, uh, let's figure out what the Nashville Predators are going to bring. Pekka Rene, obviously. Uh, Shea Weber. I wonder if Seth Jones has gotten better in this uh, with the new roster update. Let's see if he uh, progresses a little bit faster. But, uh, you know what, as long as we can score goals, it shouldn't be a problem. But this is, um, you know, we have to go up against the uh, Pekka Rene, obviously, in round one. I always have to go up against a freaking good goalie, all right? So offensively, uh, Hornqvist, Legvond, and uh, Parento. I mean, they, uh, yeah, they don't have the superstar power up front like some teams, but I guarantee you on defense and goaltender, they got studs. So it's not the greatest first line. They do have the nice, you know, sniper, two-way forward, playmaker combination, but uh, I'd say our first line is a lot better. Same with our second line. They got Walski, Smith, and uh, McGinn. Uh, Smith isn't a bad second line center, but McGinn and Walski, I don't know about them two on the second line. Uh, third line, Spalling, Fisher, and Stahlberg. Okay, not bad for depth right there. And then the fourth line, Beck, Wilson, and Joel Ward. I don't know why Wilson is on the uh, the fourth line. I guess they got so many centers there. They got some uh, a pretty good uh, center core after the first line, right? They definitely have depth on this team. But uh, hopefully, you know, with our high-powered offense, we can score some goals on them. Uh, defensively, there he is, Shea Weber, 92 overall. He's playing alongside Ryan Ellis, who's 85 overall, and he's an offensive defenseman. So that actually looks like a pretty good uh, combination on the point. Uh, second line, Roman Yossi, 85. Klein, 82. Not bad. Roman Yossi's good. Klein, maybe more of a top six. And then Ekholm and Ballard. So they got three really good defensemen in there. It's not the uh, it's not as d uh, deep as their forward core. And then in the net, Pekka Rene, 90 overall goaltender. So there's the problem right there. Shea Weber and Pekka Rene. Are we going to be able to score goals on the, the power play, right? That's going to be the big question. Here's our team, just quickly, so you, c uh, you can compare. Jeff Skinner, Logan Couture, and Brett Burns on the first line. Logan brings that superstar aspect for us. Uh, the second line, even Joe Pavelski, right? 86 overall in the second line. That's better than, the, than anybody that they have on their first line. And Joe Pavelski had a 30-goal year. So I'm hoping for big things out of Joe Pavelski this year. Out of my veterans and Brett Burns and Joe Pavelski. Uh, third line and the fourth line, they catch up a little bit with their depth. But we're talking about the superstars up front. Um, defensively, you know, everything's pretty much the same for uh, their three players. Except for Shattenkirk is worse than Weber. But then we have Falk, Vlasic, and Irwin who are better than their depth players. So, you know, other than Weber, I'd say we actually have the advantage on the defensive core. And then goaltenders, we got to... I actually have to do that line change quickly. Good thing I checked that out. Uh, edit lines. I hate when the game does that. It just switches the goalie there. And then it doesn't put it back for the playoffs. So, Antti Niemi, 85 overall. He's no 90 overall Pekka Rene, But... You know what? We're going to need them. We're definitely going to need them. So injuries are back on. Uh, I just turned them on so the Nashville Predators should not have any injuries to deal with uh, before the start of this series. So let's not waste any more time. Let's get right into it. All right. What was, uh, hang on a second, but last thing. We got kicked out in the first round last year, right? Yeah, yeah. So first year, third round exit. Last year, first round exit. I don't really know what to expect, but with that trade of Mark Giordano at the trade deadline, right, and uh, Yuri Hoodler, uh, I'm looking for, uh, hang on a second. We just, uh, yeah, Yuri Hoodler and uh, uh, GRD. Yeah, I played him on the second line. I forgot if I put him on the third or second line. But with that acquisition, right, we did make a, a statement that we want to go deep in this playoff. So no no excuses here, boys. We have 50 wins on the season. We can do this. We just got to play hard. Score some goals. That's what I want. We got to score some goals here, especially against Shea Weber and Pekka Rene. 
All right, and Niemi, you could do us a big favor by keeping them off the scoring sheet. So here we go, first period. All right, that's 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 good. I forget. I think last year we were always trailing after the first period. So this is this is a good start. Second period, not so much of a good start. McGinn. Two power play goals from, again, their second line right winger. I made fun of him, and he gets two power play goals. Logan gets one back for us, all right? So, third period. Come on, boys. Somebody tie it up for us. Third period. Oh, my God. No, it's not going to happen. That's okay. So, one goal game for the uh, for game one. That's not the end of the world. All right, it's only one game. But this is the uh, the problem with the San Jose Sharks facing the uh, Nashville Predators, right? Pecorine and Shea Weber only could score one goal that game. We were a, we were an offensive juggernaut during the regular season, so we gotta we gotta somehow turn it around here. We have to, we have to. We gotta get some goals here. I don't think they're gonna be an offensive powerhouse um, for us to handle in the playoffs here. You know, two three goals a game at max, but we need to get off to an early lead in these games. So come on now, boys. Home ice advantage for the second game. I, I don't know why I skipped the third period there fully. I usually go slow. I'll do that for this game. Um, so here we go. Game two. First period. All right. That's what I'm talking about. I need that good start. Cal Palmieri, Silverberg, and Skinner. First, second, and third line all chipping in there. That's what I'm talking about. Second period. All right. They got one back. Ryan Ellis. Here we go. Third period. What's going to happen here? What's going to happen here? Power play. There you go, boys. You got this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep that routine in place, Niemi. Penalty kill, no problem. Yeah, we got this. Yeah, oh, wait a minute. Shea Weber gets his team within one. Three minutes left. No, no, no. It's just a little bit of a scare there. But Niemi, he had the routine, and he held it down. So good job, Niemi. That's the, game, that's the kind of game that we need. We need three goals, four, nice and early. That's the way to beat the Nashville Predators. You don't want to be taking them into the third period of tie game with Pecorene and the net, man. You don't. You got to get some goals early on them. All right, so that's a good job there, boys. I'm going to go for a drink. Ah, oh, yeah. All right, so game three, tied 1-1 in the series. Any injuries to deal with? I don't believe I saw any. No, I don't believe so. All right, so we'll just continue going here. Game three, what's going to happen here? Come on now, boys. I want to have that similar first period that we had in game two, that three goal lead. We don't have to get three goals, but give me something to cheer about in the first period. Here we go. First period. Oh, my God. They gave me something with Dwight King getting the first goal, but then Beck, Spalling, and Wilson all scored on Niemi. Within like five minutes of each other. God damn it, Niemi, man. You can't allow three goals against a team like this. This game might be over just from that period. Second period. Oh, my God. Two goal third period for uh, against Shea Weber and Pecorene. I don't know. I don't think it can happen, man. Power play. Another power play. Another freaking power play. Oh, my God. They got a freaking... Was that a shorthanded goal? I guess it wasn't. Maybe it was a four-on-four -four goal or something. But... The news, is, the news is that the Nashville Predators win game three, four to one. All right, that's exactly <laughs> that's exactly the kind of second period we don't want to have, man. Or first period, yeah, they got it in the first period. Three goals against. Jesus, man. The Emmy, I'm calling you out now, son. That's that's two games. The first game, not so much, but the the third game there. Oh man, three goals consecutive. You can't allow that to happen in the playoffs. You got to step it up a little bit here. And we don't really have a goaltender to go to. I could bring in Ernest Shirelli, but that doesn't help our team. I mean, and Yemi's only really lost one game for us. This game, we didn't get any offense. This game, he only allowed two goals. Nah, we got we to gotta stick with Niemi for now, boys. We got to ride it out. Come on now, boys. We had such a good regular season. We can't get eliminated here in the first round, embarrassed and kicked out in the first round. The young San Jose Sharks, they got to make a step, a statement to the NHL. Let's go. First period. Oh, okay, you know what? That's a that's a victory in itself. We didn't allow the third period meltdown. But now we got to get one here in the second. Let's go, boys. Power play to start it off. Second period. All right, there you go. Jacob Silverberg gets a power play goal, and Logan gets one as well. So our captain gets a big one. David Legwan, so the first line centers are getting goals here. We got the one goal lead in the third period here, Niemi. I know it's not automatic, but you could do yourself a big favor here by playing outside, outside of this world. Let's go. Oh, my God, they're getting shots. Power play. Oh, good kill, good kill, boys. Six minutes left. Oh, God damn it, David Legwan. Second goal of the game. That's exactly what I didn't want to happen. Oh, yeah! Joaquin Anderson, baby! Third line center answers back with 43 seconds remaining. He gets a goal at Pekka Rene? That's what I'm talking about. Great job, Joaquin Anderson. What a pickup. What a pickup. He comes through in the clutch for us. And that could have been a 3-1 series uh, lead for uh, Nashville. Now it's 2-2. That's a big game right there. Joaquin Anderson chooses a great time to get his first goal of the playoffs. Right there for us. All right, so good news, good news. Keep going, though. Can't get ahead of ourselves. We've still got to win two more. 
But uh, that's that's huge for us. We got home ice advantage. Two more games at home at least. Uh, oh, actually, no, not not at least. If we want to win, two more games at home, right? But they could win the next two. All right. So any injuries? I don't believe so. Uh, oh no, that's Florida, not Nashville. Uh, no, I don't believe so. And we haven't had any to deal with the, uh, either. So, yeah, we'll just we'll just keep going here. All right. So two two series tie. Uh, who's got the advantage in this series? Now, you know, the games that we can keep them from scoring, like, you know, a bunch of goals, we can win. But the games that they get, like, four goals, even this game, you know, even though they only got two, that was game one. But we just got to keep them to only, like, one or two goals a game, and we stand a chance. The second they get three, it's over, man. It's over with Pecorini. We have yet to be able to get three or more than three goals. And even in that last game, our third goal came in, like, very late in the game, right? So just don't allow more than, like, one or two early goals. It's killer if we do. You got to keep them to only two goals going into the third period. You have to. All right? So come on, boys. Play defense for your goaltender. And offense, you got to get some early ones. First period. Ah, that's what I'm talking about. Cam Fowler on Pecorene. All right. So we got a backhand goal. What are you doing that close to the goal? Get back to the blue line, Cam Fowler, you goof. All right. So we got the one goal lead. Everything's working out. But still, man, this is going to be second period. I don't know. They could do something here. Come on, boys. Maintain that lead. Second period. All right. You know what? That's good. That's good enough for me. Silverberg gets one. Leg one. He's got like the last three goals for Nashville. Jesus. Uh, but Silverberg gives, gives, us, it gives us the lead once again. So third period, one goal game. It's not over, man. Niemi, you got to play good. But offense, we could use one more. Niemi's played great for us so far this game. Come on, offense. Ten minutes left. Come on, defense. Come on, defense. And Niemi and the centers win the faceoffs. Oh, yes, Jacob Silverberg, his second goal of the game. It's an empty netter, but it's a big empty netter. And, you know, we we'll put the game away. Only three seconds left, but whatever. I'll accept that as a goal. Good job, Jakob Silverberg. All right, so Fowler gets his first goal. Silverberg gets his third and fourth. He's had a good first round here. Four goals in, what, five games? or Yeah, five games. Four goals in five games for Silverberg. Great job, buddy. All right, so let's keep it going here. We've come back into this series. We've crawled our way back. But you can see the trend. If we can get three goals in a game, you know, it's 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 good news against this team. They've had that one game where they got the four goals. But, you know, the three wins that we have, 3-2, uh, oh, no, no, this one was 3-1. But three goals, four, right? So that seems to be the match number for us, three goals. So let's give ourselves a chance here. Just, just keep scoring, boys, all right? First line, Brett Burns and Joe Pavelski. The veterans, I'm going to call you guys out right now. We've had some good depth goal scoring from everybody else. Some goals from our defense. It's time for the veterans to step up and put a clutch game away for us. So come on, boys. First period. There you go. Jeff Skinner gets a goal. That's what I'm talking about. First line. All right, so we got the lead. And we're out shooting them by double, 14-7. to seven. So this might be a good game for us. We just got to keep playing here, boys. Second period. All right, you know what? That's not horrible. It's good. We got the one goal lead. So it's only a one goal lead going into the third period. I don't like those odds. All right, but come on now, boys. Offense, step it up. Power play. Oh, penalty kill. Power play. Oh, my God. Come on, boys. Come on, boys. Pavelski, Brett Burns. Defense. Come on. Oh, he did it! He did an empty netter for Falk! Oh my goodness gracious! And Niemi actually had a shutout in a clutch game, an elimination game, and he sends the San Jose Sharks off to round two. Unbelievable. I did not expect that. Niemi played great in the last two games of the series. One goal, four, and two games. Beautiful. That's what we needed against a team like the uh, Nashville Predators, right? You score goals, they're going to have a, tr a tough time scoring with that lack of offense. They can definitely keep the puck out of the net. I mean, we didn't have a single game where we scored more than three goals, right? I mean, one goal, four, three goals, four, one goal, four, three, three, two goals, four, right? So they play great defensively, but uh, at the end of the day, our offense just overpowered their offense. And Niemi, he stole the show away from uh, Rene at the uh, last two games of the uh, series. So good job, boys. Great freaking job. And the San Jose Sharks are off to round two. What a year it's been. We've already had a, a better year than last year, so, you know, trading away Patrick Marlowe and Joe Thornton seemed to be the right decision for this team, not just for the long run, but for the immediate future, for the next year. We turned into a better team, deeper in the playoffs, and a better regular season. So now we're up against the Phoenix Coyotes in round two. Very interesting. Let's check out the stats of the players, see who did what for us. Player stats for the uh, playoffs. There you go. Round one, so we'll be able to tell who had a great round. I think Silverberg had a great round. He might have had the most goals. Uh, forwards. All right, so Logan, six points in six games played. There you go, first line center, center captain, Beast. Uh, Skinner, four points, two goals, though, in six games, so that's good. Uh, Silverberg, 
Four points, but four goals. So that guy stepped it up. Gallagher, only two assists. Uh, Joachim Anderson, the big goal there to win game uh, five or game four to make it a 2-2 series, not a 3-1 series. So that was a big goal for Anderson. Uh, King, yeah. Burns and Pavelski. Oh, no, that's Palmieri. Where's Pavelski? Pavelski. Burns and Pavelski, my two veterans, only one point each. All right? They combined for two assists. So... You know, if, if you want to look, try to find the good news out of this. These guys are due, and maybe they can wake up here in round two. But we were able to win a round without Joe Pavelski or uh, Brett Burns scoring goals. So that's, that speaks to our depth a little bit, you know? Uh, defenseman, there you go. Falk, Vlasic, Giordano, Fowler, Irwin, Shattenkirk. And goalies, yeah, Niemi, uh, you can't take anything away from him, boys. He had a great six games. 4-2, uh, 1.84 goals against average, and a save percentage of above 94%. So I was glad I didn't go to Shirelli there after game three. We went back with uh, Niemi, and it worked out for us. And now he's playing outside this world. So you know what, man? We're looking like a good team here. We might be able to make some noise here in the West. Our offense is there, and Niemi is playing like a, an elite goalie. So watch out. So there's your Elite Eight, San Jose versus Phoenix, Chicago versus Winnipeg, Tampa versus Toronto, and Washington versus Florida. So the next video will be round two up against the, uh, the Yotes. Wish us luck, boys, and I will see you there.